Hello, it's Nicole Ronigan, and this is our 30th time together for our five minutes for mom, five minutes for yourself series. And this is the third part uh, in five minutes for the lover. So this is our third lube recipe. And this one is especially helpful for when there has been hurt and wounding with this particular partner, um, where you have some forgiveness work to do because there's some barriers between true intimacy with this person. There's been a lot of unmet expectations or just outright breach of trust or hurt. And it's not abuse. Like I'm not, I don't know that you could truly co-create with somebody when it's an abusive or one-sided very dominant very like submissive in not a nice fun intentional way like in in an actual abusive relationship i'm not saying that that this is for that i would highly recommend that you exit that situation as quickly as possible do some serious healing and then you know in down the road find somebody that you can really co-create with so disclaimer this is not for an abusive power uh, kind of relationship this is for that person that you love and they love you. You're both a work in progress and you're committed to the relationship, but you have some shit, right? So you have some stuff you need to deal with. And this is um, kind of reestablishing a new normal of co-creation and creation through play. So this is taking it from that really heavy, really um, adult kind of like we have just so much history, so much baggage to like rewind. We are innocent. We are pure. We are childlike. We are, um, we are brand new kind of energy. Okay. So every relationship can be renewed and restored if there, if it's mutual energy exchange and there's mutual respect and both partners want to work on it. Now, if it's just one-sided, totally different story okay so so many people freaking take things out of context and um and I would never want you to take my stuff and have it prop up an abusive relationship so I'm just very clear about that all right because I clearly have some baggage around people doing that <laughs> that I've been healing through all right so this loop three drops of pedigree again pedigree is our friend to move out of those unhealthy patterns to our healthy traditions moving forward, healthy connections. And then five drops of tangerine. Tangerine is the oil of creativity and play. And this is any area in our intimate life, in our relationship, in our ability to connect with our partner and connect to source together that feels stifled, it shifts you to feeling really creative. The whole process of lovemaking is creative. It's designed to be a creation experience, okay? And then three drops of ylang, ylang It's the oil of just childlike perspective. This is for shifting when you are overanalyzing, stuck in your head. This is the get you out of your head uh, to being intuitive because you want to intuitively know where to touch like how to move where what comes next you know like be playful in in your love making experience in your intimate times and you you can't do that by being in your head and be like okay now what did she say to do or you know please don't do that um, f go with your intuition go with your flow connect ask you know ask permission do I have permission to connect to you um emotionally physically spiritually energetically and and then you know connect to the divine ask for guidance ask for downloads like you would be amazed how awesome next level it can be when you set that headspace that intention and then number two drops of forgive so especially when there's been hurt or um, breach of trust or just resentment um, forgive clears out resentment to like a space of tolerance and and it's not just I tolerate bad behavior but it's like I make room for your humanity you make room for my humanity I understand that you're a work in progress and you're not required to get it right every single time and neither am I it gives more of a permission to be human 
instead of build up resentment that you're not meeting my needs and you're not doing it right. You know, like that's just such a better space to be in with your partner. And then we're going to add some turmeric. So one drop of turmeric. And I was like, when I was getting this download, I was like turmeric, but it does add some heat and it's very clearing and it's very energetically just like shakes it up and it's like digs out the deep roots. So in this instance, the betrayal, it's going to uproot the, the betrayal feeling and in pla- in its place, it's going to restore. It's going to put in a restorative energy. So this is a really powerful key. And then as far as the physical sensations of the blend, it's going to be a nice heat that builds, which is going to be really fun. And then pink pepper is like one of my new favorites in, in intimate lube blends because it's a nice warming. It's a, it's a more of a feminine energy than the masculine energy of black pepper, which I also enjoy. But I love this because in lovemaking, there are so many times that we, we hold back because of self-judgment. And so this brings in the energy of self-acceptance. And anytime you're wanting to move to the next layer, not only are you trying to um, work through and accept your partner, but you have to work through and accept yourself. And then that brings this into that homeostasis where now we're back on equal footing and then we're connecting into our source. So I am so excited for you all to experience the the pleasure and the benefits of these oils as you are um, connecting. And even if you keep it purely on a physical level and, and just the pleasure aspect of it, I'm excited to see you go to that next level. And then for those of you who really understand the co-creation energy of sexuality and sacred sacred sex and union. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like talk about next level. So th- these are going to be really targeted and specific to help you work through some of those things that keep you stifled, stuck, hold you back, um, keep you from really connecting in your most authentic way in that vulnerability space is where the breakthroughs come and then the next level creations happen. So I pray that this whole series has been a really amazing blessing for you to really think about the way that you live your life, the way that you go throughout your day. There's this fly and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a bee. Uh, If you're wondering what I'm doing. Okay. So that you're, you're intentionally co-creating with God and with with the people in your life, you're setting intention for the tone in your home. You're being a fierce guardian of your family culture, your business culture, your relationship culture, and yourself. Like you're the space you hold for yourself in this world and the way that you connect to the others that we are actually one with and the whole big picture of how we not only heal ourselves and our generations moving backwards and forwards, but the whole entire universe, right? So have fun with these videos. You don't have to watch them in order, but I'm so grateful and thankful that you've joined me on this 30-day journey, and I look forward to other series with you in the future.